you know, Kasha, that the chuck wagon was invented by the legendary Texas cattleman, eh. Charlie Goodnight? I did not know that. You do now. Goodnight organized the first roundup, 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 roundup of hey. Texas Longhorns. He needed a way to feed the cowboys that were driving his cattle to market. So he devised the chuck wagon. The chuck wagon. Basically, you know, basically he was catering for the cowboys. In 2003, Texas decreed that the chuck wagon to be the official state vehicle. Yeah! Oh. <laughs> I don't know there how you to go. segue right from that to fine dining. Because, you know, we have Easy. got... Okay, fine go. dining. Yeah! <laughs> We just did, didn't yes, we? we? Did. Thank you so You're much welcome. for that. You know what? Now I'm so pleased to welcome back our friend, Chef Warren Berman yes. of Great Temptations Catering. He's been with us in the past, and may I just say, unbelievable food. You even Amazing. cater for our lunches around here. And on top of it, you know what you miss, Christian? Because once Chef Berman made something with foie gras. And know, lobster. Which, and lobster. I know. I wasn't and there. He decided to take day, a sick day or something. He cried. Yes. I know. He cried. I saw him shed a so what are we making today, Chef? Today, because it's fall, we're going to do a braised lamb shank with root vegetables. Okay, a braised Love lamb it. shank with root vegetables. Yeah, Sorry, I had I, to absorb that that's one. That's okay. We also have tape. some uh, dried morels, which oh. has a nice smoky, earthy uh, flavor, which what we're going to throw. What are dried morels? They, they are look from like little the, shrooms, little mushrooms. They are little shrooms. They are from the truffle family, mm -hmm. and they grow in BC, and they grow in France. And the dried ones actually have more of an intense flavor than the fresher ones do. That has more earthy and smokiness yeah. to it, right which will add to the dish. Yeah. They really grow prominently after a forest fire. <laughs> do they? It's absolutely Isn't that true. Something? Absolutely true. Wow. We also have so we have three different types of squash. We have a uh, white swan squash. Yes. We have Hubbard squash. Yes. We have butternut squash. Butternut. Yep. We have Italian anchovies, which nice. has to go with the various lamb shanks. Capers, really? yeah. and you guys have to try this. Okay. This is okay, called this. This is fermented garlic. It's from oh, Korea. Are you gonna make me yeah. eat fermented yes. garlic but right this, now, just oh, like straight up? Straight up. You can use this in desserts. This another one. day. This is so I'm sweet. coming home to no loving. I gotta say, when I eat this. Ready? Kind of... Go ahead, Cash. It's oh, really. It's, no, no, it's not. Really? It's not. It's not. It's not. It's not like regular garlic. Oh. Better than candy. Oh, it's sweet. Yeah. Wow. We also have some baby turnip we're gonna use. So. We should get started. I love how you just take it. You're like, you're going to try this. Well, of yep. course. And this is so unique. Some of the stuff that you can find in your store, right? You have your own store now. Yeah. Uh, let me hear. So it's a Great Temptations catering yep. store where you find only like fine Unusual ingredients. ingredients. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So let's okay. So what are we getting started with? You okay. So that, that's a, there? Yeah, that's a demi glaze, okay. which we're going to use. Uh, demi. Here we go. Thank you. And we gotta get this guy on yeah, too. Yeah, you want this one on? Double Hi. dual. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna sear the lamb first. Mm -hmm. But before I do that, I'm gonna chop up the vegetables very quickly. Nice. So we have the butternut. Actually, you know what? I already got some. That's okay, the way to do it, Chef Berman. Come there on. There you go. So you remove the. You remove the, the, remove the peel, yeah. and in the inside there's pits, uh, seeds like that. Sure. And then you scoop them out with a spoon, and then you've got usable. And we need some onion, and you also, of course, need onions. You can't, you look, can't. At, look at that. This is like. Yeah. Can't, it's funny can't. watching this. I could never do this. Sure, you could. I'm the, teaching a teen class right now. I got 12 year old Are you? kids. Amazing. And, uh, 12 to 17 year olds. So. No way. Is it at the store? Where do you No, teach? it's actually uh, for the city of Pickering. Okay. Uh, they're trying to get young kids occupied and uh, involved? busy, involved. Oh, cool. And the other thing is, the bottom line is, kids are starting university at 17 now, and most so parents true. don't teach their kids how to cook anymore. That's it's true. Really which it's is a lot of a package, sad. pretty sad. Yeah. So, you know, we're trying to get them excited about cooking and. Uh, mm -hmm. That's Get a really them. great so, thing that you're doing. It's a lot of fun, actually. It's a yeah. lot, I thought it was going to be a little more challenging, and the kids are great. They're enthusiastic. Yeah. Uh, it's a food network generation, man. Yeah, exactly. And they all, you know, they all think that you know they're going to be food network chefs. So I've, I've tried uh, to explain. Uh, I've tried to explain to them the nuances yeah, of the business. Longer. Yeah. That's right. The nuances of the business. But you know what? Uh, last night we did uh, burritos and enchiladas and. Um, nice. Cool. Chef Berman, I have to ask you too uh, about this cruise. Yeah, yeah. A cruise. A cruise. Well, I don't know about the cruise. You don't know oh. about the cruise? Oh. Tell me about the cruise. I've been approached by a, a travel agent. What they want to do is they want to run a culinary wine tour. But this one's got a bit of a twist because it happens to be on a cruise ship that's uh, where you have comedy. So it's going to be comedy, wow. culinary, and wine. I mean, what a better combination. Oh CCW. my God. Hello. Oh. Do you need uh, an MC, a host of the event? I well, think, yeah. Right there. There you go. <laughs> that Seriously. face. 
<laughs> I think I'd be a great idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. Oh, what a super time. So where is it? Like a Mediterranean or it's, is it no, Caribbean? No, it starts in uh, San Francisco and yeah. it goes up the West Coast. So it stops in Seattle and um, uh, Oregon yeah, and Vancouver. Yeah, you are so lucky. Awesome. Talk about a top notch to be approached for these type of things. Very cool. It's a lot of, it's, you know, it's, it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be interesting. Yeah. Something different. Our own Christian's doing stuff like that, too. He's... Kristen's a god. I'm trying to get to his level. You know? oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, here we go. Fly for a pride flipper here. That's <laughs> me. So what's this here? This, this is, is a, a Hubbard squash. squash I yeah. haven't seen. A uh, Hubbard? A Hubbard squash. Yeah? yeah. What's different about this one? Is it more fibrous? It, it seems this one's, more yeah, this one's a little more sweeter? fibrous. Than, you know, the butternut squash, I'd say, for me, personally, I like um, for soups and stuff. The Hubbard's great for roasting, and you put brown sugar and maple syrup on them. What's your so favorite squash? I, I'm a favorite of the uh, butternut. Yeah, me yeah? too. Yeah, yeah. It's and the most versatile, and it's. Uh, so it's your time right now, isn't it? Oh yeah, it's the best time of year. Yeah. I love the fall. You know what? But we're both yeah, cooks, so we're both butternuts. But do do but do do boom boom. Wah wah wah. Wah. All right. So essentially, these uh, these pieces they're going to be going into your well, pot. Well, right? well, no. What we're going to do oh, is we're going to okay. pan sear the. Um, the lamb shank, okay. and then I'm going to add the uh, squash, mm -hmm. and the turnip, and yeah. the onions, and the garlic. I never use turnip. I don't think people uh, use these turnip These are this, No, this is a baby turnip. Yeah. So you notice the color, but the color is uh, a lot paler. I mean, yeah. uh, mm -hmm. the turnip's yellow, and Yellowish, this is white. Yeah. This is not, I, I prefer the baby ones. Really? Yeah. Okay. Here comes that garlic. And here comes the marinated garlic, which I didn't even know existed. Well, this is, uh, they, it's, it comes from Korea, and it's, uh, they ferment it in the ground for a year. That's right. And really? In the ground? Yeah. And uh, it's fabulous. Yeah. I mean, you can eat it, you taste it, it's sweet. Yeah, and, uh, it is sweet. That's I mean, from, that's just a pinch stuff. That's my buddy Mario owns that company. And oh, yeah? It, yeah, he does salt and... Yeah, and I've got, I use a lot of his salt. Yeah. It's a great, it's a great it's a products. Great, product. great products. We also got some Romano beans, so we're going to... How are we doing here? Hot. Yep, pretty good. Yeah. Now, I've got some Argon. Oh! Now, what do we come, got here? Argon oil has got a really nice smoky flavor. Yeah. It comes it's a, comes from a tree in Morocco. Okay. okay. Chef Barton, we've got to go to a break. We're just going to go to the break, but we're going to have we're gonna have to absolutely try that in a second. So mm -hmm. we'll be right back, and we'll be able to see, smell, and taste all the great stuff that Chef Burm is putting together for us here. Beautiful. Cash is excited because she's going to be emceeing really the cruise. Exciting. Ah, there you go. <laughs> yeah. got a new job. Oh, new job. <laughs> <laughs> great temptations, catering.com. That's what it goes Welcome back to daytime. Well, if you could smell the aromas that we're smelling in here right now, we have got Chef Berman, Chef Warren uh, Berman of Great Temptations Catering joining us, who is in the midst of putting something very elaborate and special together. Uh, bring us a He's elaborate What are we doing? We are going to take a, a lamb shank. A lamb uh. shank. We are going to put a little salt and pepper on it. Uh. And we are going to sear it. Uh. Yeah. And then we are going to braise it. Braising, braising is when you uh, take a meat and you cook it for a long time over a very low temperature in an oven and it's covered. So this takes about three hours to do. My goodness. But I have a very super fast oven, so you guys really? are actually nice. going to get to enjoy the, the flame. This is the real yeah. magic so, TV moment that's coming. Christian had indicated to me that yeah. he loves anchovies. Now these Love anchovies them. here, uh -huh. as you notice how fat they are, yeah. as opposed to a canned one. The canned ones right. are very, very salty. Mm -hmm. These are from Italy. They're packed in olive oil and they're awesome. And you're just going to take it. Oh, yeah. Do you want to try one? Wow. I... No? Come, yeah, come no, on. no. I'll take her portion. Okay. I'll just believe you guys. Oh, sure. Ah, oh, yeah. come on. Oh, They're Christian, all... come on. They're awesome. Family show. I love anchovies. Who's eating They're anchovies? Mm. They're great. Like it's a, you know, cracker. <laughs> I'd have them on a cracker. You would. Sure. Actually. Mm. They are just so beautiful. beautiful. Okay. Now, this, this has half the calories of olive oil, and olive oil is very healthy. What? Beautiful. This is my new. 50 calories. Bit 50 calories per uh, tablespoon. Okay. So. How much is it for a little thing like this, though? Um, about 20 bucks. Oh, ho, ho. Yeah. there See, you I go. Said that under his there you go. Bucks. <laughs> so this is good quality. How much for that catch? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to ask. I just knew it. Right. Had an I think idea. I'm going to stick into the olive oil. See there, beautiful? Okay. After all. Okay. So. Beautiful. 
We got so this now searing. we're searing this. We're gonna sear it quickly. Yeah. We're gonna saute the vegetables. I'm gonna splash some champagne vinegar and of course red wine. I mean, you can't mm, make Brady's lime without red do. wine. Of course not. We'll pour this beef stock on. We'll put yeah. it in the pan. We'll bang it in the oven, and then. And then before you know it, is it gonna be done? It'll be done. Sweet. You don't say. Now, you know what, stuff. Chef Berman, can you tell our, our audience why you, you put it in the flour, especially with regards to the braising? Well, two purposes. One, it helps seal in the juices, but when you sear it in, in flour, it adds a thickening agent. Right. Mm. So you've got squash also adds a thickening agent. I'm adding some Romano beans, which also gives some starch. Right. Mm. So it makes the, the broth thicker without actually making, in the olden days, we used to do um, use a root, which is flour and butter, and thicken it. And then, yeah. You don't do that anymore in hotels. It'll kill you. No. Okay. And we have uh -huh. some onions. The onions in the pan. <laughs> the onions in the pan. Oh. Is that a song I don't know? Well, it's my song I now. I think you just made it up. I did. Too. You like it, Tasha? So in go the ingredients. All the ingredients that oh. we had chopped up in the last segment. They're all. It's all coming together now, Christian. It's all coming together. Have we got three hours to bring it all together? Oh. We have. Or have we got a surprise for you today? Maybe, we have a, we have because a, I believe we only have two minutes left until the end of the segment. About that, maybe two and a half. That's right. And in go all these beautiful... Now I'm going to put the mushrooms in dry because it's going to be braised. Right. Yeah. These will expand inside the liquor and, and the up, flavor yeah. will be so intense. Gorgeous. Wow. And so uh, I know you've been doing this for over 30 years. Cooking is your life, isn't it? Yeah. Why is that? Like, what drew you to it initially? Um, Did you just know you had this no, my grandma, culinary artist in you? No, my grandmother actually used to cook, and she we had a very large family, and uh, she would do Sunday dinners for 40 people, and she loved to cook. Beautiful. And I just sort of started helping her. You inherited her and enjoy that gene, didn't you? So, Chef, you're going to deglaze and put some red wine yep. into. Maybe we can uh, show everybody the... Uh, the after after shot here too because we we don't unfortunately I mean I'd love to be here for another three hours yeah but we don't have that so okay. the demi glass goes on Ooh. beautiful so we'll leave that there ah. are we ready to uh, you bet man to play? absolutely to play? all right sure. so is this the magic of television moment Chef? this is the magic television moment. okay three yeah. hours of braising three hours of braising. Now, how long really do, does that take? That does does your does, own? The, you no, know, I would do this in a, in a in a home oven. You do it at about three seventy five, yeah. and it depends on the size of the lamb shanks. But you, it would take two and a half to three and a half hours. Wow! Wow! This looks beautiful. So let's get rid of this. It's really something. Okay, maybe oh. I'll come over. Yeah. <laughs> We're having musical chairs. We are. It's, sure it's great. Hold here. on. This is the chef in the kitchen dance. Here we go. <gasps> Beauty. Okay, so sorry about that. Chad. This that's okay. Now you can serve this with mashed potatoes, risotto. Yep. Yep. But because there's so many root vegetables in it, I just prefer a nice. Yeah. This right. is a whole. Dip it in there. That's right. Whole garlic clove bread. Uh -huh. Nice and fresh. So I'll slice oh, some bread for you guys. Delicious. With just 30 seconds left, you know what? We'll be able to Plate give this up. a try um, at the very end of the show. You got it. Look so at that. That's just not enough. That. That. It's like a Flintstones thing. It's like the brontosaurus, man. It it's is, beautiful. It is like a Flintstones. And I, and I know, Chris, I know Chris is not going to enjoy this. Oh, know. no. no. There's no way I'm going to enjoy it's that. It's all for me. Great Temptations Catering .com. That's the website. And boy, are we ever tempted on this set. But you know what? We're not to try this yet. We are going to a break. Ta-da! Is this not beautiful or what? When we come back after the break, however, we're talking to a mediator um, about... No, we're not! Pleasures. Yes, we are, Christian. No, we're not! And then only after will we get to try this beautiful piece. And remember to go online and vote on our web poll. We want to know, do you prefer fall or spring? We all love fall because of the fall vegetables, right?